So what did I get out of this? There's an intervention there. Pretty good. So a two times magnification. Probably want something a little bit better than that. If I can get a decent scope on that intervention as well, then I can use that to start picking people off of statics before I move into outposts. Get a bit more survivability on the vehicles when I take them. So yeah, I can't be seen anymore, because the thing that says avert has just changed to telling me that, oh wait, no, they can see me again. I'm gonna set to change from saying avert to just avert military vehicle, so it's telling me why I might be detected. So I need to keep heading out before I drive up towards the base. Just because I'm currently dragging my last non marker around. Assuming that is how that works. And I wonder, do we have any recruits up here? There's one recruit. Okay, let's get a medic. So the one guy up there, I can probably take over this town with. On the far side. Maybe that'll start generating recruits for us as well. I know that occupying a town increases the recruits by 1.5 times. So if you were getting, let's say, 5 recruits, you'd get 7.5 recruits per hour. But I don't know if it generates recruits on its own. Is that my medic all the way down there? What's it doing on the hill? It's a perfectly good base and a ton of towers to occupy. Alright, well, let's empty this into the arsenal. And then drop the gear that I'm carrying into here, just so that I can empty that in as well. Oh, these are the same key. So let's stick these into here. And we'll now start intercepting orders from the people from the airbase, I can only assume. So yeah, I've got to park this over in our little vehicle depot. And then we can go have a crack at whatever that outpost's got up there. Hopefully take the unarmed MRAP from them. Because that will then prevent that outpost from sending any mounted units. We'll have to send reinforcements on foot. So that just kind of protects us when we eventually manage to take that airbase. So attach the garrison. There we go. And also these boxes have spawned in again. What have these got in them? More construction resources. I'm pretty sure these weren't supposed to spawn in, so I'm just going to leave them where they are. Another thing as well that I forgot to look at a second ago was in the uniforms list. If we go down to this tracksuit here, you can see that this has got some ballistic protection. And if we go into helmets, I believe there are, yeah, racing helmets, which also have protection, and they're not considered to be um, suspicious outfits. So if I leave the bears, it won't mark me as in a suspicious uniform. So you see like this, I'm still undercover. Whereas if I was wearing a vest or anything, I'd be marked as a suspicious outfit. This was another hint that uh, Elf gave me. So yeah, if you want a bit of armor, help keep yourself alive a bit longer. Tracksuit, it's near the bottom of the uniforms in the arsenal. And the racing helmets. Obviously, like, any kind of military gear is going to instantly be better than this. But of course you can't just go running around in military gear without being attacked. So that's just a bit of a failsafe in case people start shooting at you when you're not ready for them. I think the only bad thing about this is that you have to go back to a base to equip this stuff. So you go somewhere with an arsenal. Thankfully, every arsenal has unlimited amounts of civilian clothing. So you could just put one down in every town that you occupy, even if it's just one of the tiny boxes. As long as it has an arsenal, you'll be able to equip this stuff. But yeah, I would have to respawn at my base and run around every single time. If I wanted to use this stuff exclusively. Alright, let's grab this car, go back up to that outpost like I mentioned. I really hope they don't set off that bomb as I drive past them. There's a dead sieve down there. 
this brutality seems to be taking full force down here. Okay, we're through. We're safe. It's good timing as well because they just took that bomb off. One thing I'm really hoping this uh, vehicle has in its inventory when I take it is a decent scope so I can put it on the intervention. I think that's the one thing I'm properly missing before I start, you know, taking military gear around to attack stuff myself. Just a bit anxious about throwing attacks to places when they're full of vehicles if I don't have the proper equipment to take them on. So I think a major part of attacking an outpost is going to be running in, stealing a vehicle, getting away, coming back. Either that or just using the vehicle to fight until it explodes. Which to be fair was pretty fun to just throw around grenades and not have to worry about the vehicle being blown up because you know it's not mine. Just trying to keep to the road as much as possible though because they're usually excluded from the military areas. Alright, we're in the military area now so we need to be quick. Otherwise we're just going to get spread down. Where is this thing? Oh, it's around the corner back here. There it is. Wait, drop my pistol. We're only just compromised now. Let's take a few of them out as we go. There's nobody on the statics, actually. I oh, know, they got the underbarrels. Flee! We actually want to keep this one. So let's see what we've got in here. There's more two times scopes. Nothing else of any particular interest, though. There's only 18 guys there. They've stopped firing at me. Hmm. Maybe we should see what we can do about this. It's going to static up there. They're attacking. Okay, the airbase is attacking up here, so I need to be quick about this. We think I can actually hit the guy on the static over there. No. That's probably why he's not shooting at me, to be honest. Where have all the infantry gone? There's... there's the static GMG. Okay, this was a bad idea. Just get around the corner. There goes the building. How many shots did that guy want to take? Okay then. So the theme of today is everything explodes, I guess. Okay, so let's maybe put together an actual lot out of weapons that I've got. So I've got one of these F2000s. Can I put one of these scubs on them? I can. I've only got laser pointers to attach to them. Unless I've got some wars. No ammo for the, some of this stuff. I've spawned with a pistol anyway, so that's fine. Of course, want to go for the tracksuit. I've got some decent vests in here as well. This one's explosive protected. A telescopic ladder. Okay. Let's take a messenger bag since we've got infinite amounts of those. I wonder if they count as... Actually, that's something I want to test. Let's put all this stuff away. Put the vest away. I want to test and see if this messenger bag is suspicious clothing. No, it's not. That's really interesting. 
So if you want a bag, which isn't suspicious, messenger bags are the way to go. All right then, let's go pick up some more gear. Maybe I can fit a vest and a rifle into this, or at least an SMG. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put on probably military police first. And take an MP5. Then in my bag, add six magazines. So I reload the MP5 here. Stick that in that bag. Can the vest go in too? No. Can if I drop one magazine though? Which fits in my tracksuit. Let's drop that for the time being though. So where are they making this rod block? Oh, that's another one going down here. Alright, that's fine. There's only 23 people left in there still. We've kind of stretched them thin. We've got two attacks going on right now. If I manage to get away with one of those GMGs, I'd definitely go and intercept the attacks. So for my helmet, I want to put on one of the racing helmets. There we go, so now let's save this. Okay, so I've saved this as my covert loadout. So we're going to be picking up like plenty of these vests and submachine guns just from the military police and the boxes in towns. And I can eventually change that to use military gear when we get enough of it. Though the fact that I can actually fit an SMG and a weapon into my bag is pretty damn good. Oh look, there's a roadblock that's actually being put in. Though, um... I don't really know what it's blocking. Either way, that might make for a decent military target. It's two kilometers out. It's not too far, actually. We can go have a look at that. It makes me nervous that there's so many explosives around. Someone just blew one up over here. There's one there. One there. So I could easily just die on my way out here. Well, actually, no. I can go out the other way. Safe from the IEDs for wonder. Someone's shooting at me. The fuck are you doing? Oh, I'm suspicious now. What? Why am I avert? Why was I even suspicious in the first place? Yeah, now I'm undercover again. So there's a GMG there. It wasn't moving though. Maybe I'm suspicious if I go near a soldier who's in combat? So yeah, if I just drive past him, I'm fine. So is this thing manned? No. Like, there's literally nobody in it, that's the only guy who has it, so if I kill him, this Fennec's mine. This game's just handing me vehicles on a silver platter right now. Where are they, where are they attacking? So that airbase is attacking all the way down here. Where is he? There. Sorry buddy, it's not your lucky day. Well, maybe it is. I'm gonna kill myself in these fences before I get you. Anyway, I'm compromised now, so I'm just gonna go hide in a building while I patch myself up. And the fact that I didn't just immediately get nailed by that GMG confirms there's nobody in it, too. These people have got a death wish. Anyway, this guy will have some equipment for me to take. Don't need to take this MP5 or the vest with me anymore. I can drop the ammo there too. So I'll take that vest. We've already got the crypto key on there. I think this guy's weapon went flying. Yep, it's right there. So what did I get? Oh, I didn't actually pick it up. What? Give me his gun. Thank you. There's an F-2000 with a GL. 
So yeah, I'm going to go back up there and claim my prize. And then probably hit the roadblock with it. Since it's got the GMG on top. This is the one time I'm kind of sad I don't have an HMG version. Because I could have parked up on a hill and sniped them. With the HMG. I'm instead going to have to get reasonably close and I just got some pretty sick air. Alright, let's drop that marker. Garrison spawned in now. They haven't seen me yet though. Probably do to get a bit closer actually. That hill's not in my favour. I can shoot over the top of that, that's going to be good. Yep, here we go. Do you think they've seen me yet? No, they haven't. Oh, Lance, that's not going to go well for you. Now they know I'm here. That was fucking fast. Okay, it's official. These vehicles are shit. I cannot see anything. Yeah, and I bled out. Well, that was interesting. Well, I'm gonna be honest, I expected quite a lot of that to go differently. I didn't realize just how weak the Striders were to high explosive weapons. You know, I thought they would have been able to at least take quite a few of those before they got damaged. There's only five guys left there. And they didn't have any GMGs or anything themselves, so those were all under barrel launches. Damn, well, I'll definitely take out the rest of that roadblock next time. Probably with a rifle. Because, you know, those things aren't very powerful. So it turns out I do actually have a decent scope in the box. I've got a Night Force here, which I can equip onto my intervention. So this should be pretty handy if you're dealing with that roadblock. Also, it seems like my... Military transport got teleported over there, but that's fine. If vehicles are kind of spawning in this area, then that's a decent place for them to be. Ah, there is an attack headed down there. I wonder if destroying the target of an attack actually cancels the attack? So like, if that stops being their roadblock, will they stop attacking it? Hmm, actually no, I think they'll just, uh... Have the attack arrive at that position anyway, because it's going, like, next to it, where I was, not to the actual roadblock. Do you know what? I have hundreds of hours in this game, but I never realized that the back of this thing, those are actually dirty footprints. Just all over the back of the transport. There's military transports up there. They seem to be coming away from the attack destination, though. So what, did they like turn up to the attack and then decide there was nothing there so they'd come home? I'm just going to stop here and wait for them though. Hopefully they'll drive past. I don't want to get too close to them in case they shoot me. I know they're coming this way. Where are they going? They're not going to my base, are they? I might have to follow these people back. I'm going to set up on that hill over there, perhaps, because I can see the base. In fact, now that's a bit far away. I'm just going to follow them back and see if they engage the troops there. If they do, I'm going to have to snipe them from behind. Do we have any recruits here? Yes. Let's get some riflemen. And we'll take... Rifle them with AT, so that they can destroy the transport, if they're still in them. Please don't turn. Just keep driving straight. Yeah, they're going towards my base. How do I not have an attack marker for this? We should have intercepted anything that happened in this area. 
You know what, screw it, I need to engage them now before they get close enough to spot it. It doesn't matter if I lose my rifle, the base is more important. Alright. Got one. Two. Oh, nearly. He's shooting at me. Fuck, he's accurate. Okay. Uh, spawn in the town. Hopefully there's a car here. Are there not even any cars here? I think we might have used up all the cars. Oh no, there's an ambulance. Attack intercepted. The airbase is going to attack where it thought I was. This is getting risky. Alright, are they still here? No, they've driven off. Oh no, one transport's still there. Oh, let me pick up the tracksuit again. It's annoying. Guy around here has gone on. There he is. No, that's a different one. Ooh, nearly. I got him. Through the leg. He's still alive. There is another one here, though, because the one that killed me has a Mark 14, I think, or something like that. Just taking out his other knee. Just missed. There we go, up the arse. So apparently there's a marksman there. Nice, head shot through the floor. I was sure that was going to kill me. Hope that camera has missed my base, so we're good. Whew. There wasn't like any contact report or anything, so I don't think they were close enough to fight. Which is very handy. Though this transport is close enough that I can just run straight back and then hide this in my base. That'll be a ton more equipment. Yep, they have a crypto key that I already have, so... It wasn't a case of them doing an attack I couldn't see. I think maybe just the destination for the attack got confused with the AI's pathing or something. I still feel like I should probably chase down that other transport, though. Oh, I really hope they don't spot my base just because I did that attack there. That would be really unfortunate. So where will these people come down? They'll probably come down the back roads here near the Machori. So they're going to drive straight past the base, just like that other transport did. So yeah, let's see how good my eyes are. This was a Mark 14, wasn't it? It was indeed. I did quite like the Mark 14. It's got to be one of my favourite rifles. It's nice seeing my units dotted around the base. Eventually we're going to have a lot of tents in here and there's going to be a ton more units. So it'll be fun to see what the base looks like when that happens. Oh? Oh shit. That's not good. Okay, I need to get this transport and then hurry back. Because we've detected enemy armor at that position. And the alarm in my base is going off. <laughs>